Okay, first grade. Let's talk about stuff. We're talking everything around you. We're talking the pillow over my shoulder, the grapes on my plate, the water in my jug, and even the M&Ms in my bowl. Each of those are classified as matter. Stuff. Matter is and can take the place in the shape or in the form of liquid, like the water in my jug. It can be a solid, like the book that's in your camera right now. And it can also be air or gas, which you cannot see, but you know is coming from me. So, and that I am using in order to live, and so are you. Do you know the name of the gas that we breathe in? It's called oxygen. And then do you know what we breathe out? It's called carbon dioxide. Now we can't see those things, but sometimes we can feel them. Like if you cover your mouth like this and breathe, I feel that. And sometimes we can smell them too. So matter, things, stuff, can be described by using their properties. So that's a weird word. On this page, we see evidence of solids, like these toys. We have um, an abacus and a teddy bear, a maraca. We have um, a stuffy that is a crocodile, a book. Each of those are solids, trucks. Here is evidence of liquids. These are I think these are all just examples of water. Maybe that's a blue Gatorade, I like those. And they're all inside different water bottles with different straws. Question, is the straw a liquid? No. What is the straw? It's actually a solid. But the liquid needs to be held and contained inside of a solid like a container. And then lastly, this is evidence of gas. Is the balloon itself this red, um, I'm not even sure what it's made out of. This red material, is that, um, is that what the gas is? No, that's a solid as well. Inside that though, contained in this crazy blue balloon is the gas, it's oxygen or carbon dioxide that we've blown into the balloon in order to get it to inflate. Or maybe that we used a small inflator to place into. Take a look at this object. What is this? It's a bubble. You ever made a bubble? I hope so. Bubbles are neat. Bubbles, especially, well, bubbles are neat because when they're in their dish before she dragged her wand through it, what is that state of matter called? That's a liquid. And then what she does is she waves it in the air. Air is, of course, a gas. And the gas goes inside the liquid and then causes a bubble to form. So that's really neat. It's a combination of, of those two things. Today we're going to talk about how we can identify the properties of solid items, the properties of liquid items, and the properties of a gas. Okay. Do you know the song? I've been working on the railroad. Sounds like this. I've been working on the railroad all the live long day. I've been working on the railroad just to pass the time away. Can you hear the whistle calling? Dinah, blow your horn. I think you have. Maybe. If not, I'll put um, a, a small clip on it on our website and you can play that right now. You could even take a pause, go to that one, come back to me. Okay. So repeat after me. We're going to do this together. We're going to try. The bubble wand is something solid. The bubble wand is something solid. With one end that is round. With one end that is round. The bubble wand is big and yellow. The bubble wand is big and yellow, and it feels smooth is what I found. It feels smooth is what I found. 
the bubble wand is something solid with one end that is round. The bubble wand is big and yellow. It feels smooth is what I found. Okay, after that little bit of silliness, which I always enjoy, I always try to sing those songs, even though Mrs. Smith is definitely not Mrs. Quant, but if you can't be silly in science class, when can you be silly, guys? So for lesson one, we are looking at this. What is a property? Swoosh. Look at the bubble. The bubble has properties. A property is something that you can observe with your senses. Do you know your senses? Here's one of them. You're using it right now because I'm speaking and you are listening. You're also watching. You can touch. You can, oh, you can, hold on. Here it is. What sense is that? My taste. So we have, we have taste, sight, sound, touch. What's the last one? Oh, that's right, smell. So a property is something you can observe with one of those senses. So I can observe this bubble in the picture just by using my eyes. But if the bubble were real, like for instance, if I was going to go play outside today and I was a first grader and I had a bubble wand and I wanted to go ask my mom or my dad or my guardian if I could go outside and play bubbles. Maybe we could talk about the science and the properties of bubbles together. If we looked at those, we'd be able to touch them. We'd ever be able to hear them. We'd be able to see them. I wouldn't suggest tasting it. Yuck. Okay. Let's look at this type of property. We can look at size is a property. Is this bubble big or small? You betcha it's big. So size is one of those properties and we can see that property using the, scent, uh, the sight, uh, the sense of sight. It's hard to say. Okay, now let's look at this classroom. Look at the, uh, at the objects in the picture. What colors do you see? Colors are a property. Look at this door. What color is it? What color is the backpack? The ball? The boots? How about the bag? The raincoat? Can you hear my baby? What shapes do you see? What shape is this ball? What shape is this bag? What shape are these pictures? How about the door? We can also look and describe how something feels. So if you go to your door, did you hear that? Oh, my cats did. They think there's someone at the door now. It's just me, cats. So you can hear the sound from the door because it is hard. So the way that something feels is also a property. How about the property of shape? What shape is this ball? You could say it's ball shaped, but do you know what this is called? If you just said circle, uh-uh, not a circle. Sphere, sphere. And how about the way that these boots would feel? Well, I think they'd feel a lot like my book, very smooth. How about the basket? They say it looks bumpy to touch. Do you agree? What shape is this part of the bag? It's a rectangle. How do you think this blue scarf feels? I think it feels soft. So each of those are the properties that we are identifying of the objects in this picture. All of these objects are solids, liquids, or gases. They are solids. All of these are solids. A liquid is going to feel very different, isn't it? And it's going to have its own properties. So we use the word properties in order to describe solids, liquids, and gases. Next week, we are going to complete this page together. And we are going to identify the properties of objects using these, ex these different examples. We're going to look at the size, the shape, the color, 
hardness or how some how hard something is the textures how something feels and then lastly the word buoyancy i your job for this science experience this science lesson today is to find out what the word buoyancy means and you'll find out the answer when we come back next week all right i hope you've enjoyed and i'd like for you to go around your house and start picking out different objects solids liquids gases decide where they would belong have a conversation about that maybe even talk about the properties of those solids liquids and gases okay see you soon guys hope you've enjoyed